Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Adder. Once again, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to go ahead and have a quick demonstration for an emulator that's coming out real soon once the iPhone 3GS is finally jailbroken by the community. So, um, well, the dev team, of course. But this application is was written by ZotTTD. He's well known in the community for making great emulation um, applications, like for several platforms, like for this case, the PlayStation and uh, the Game Boy and, and the Super Nintendo. And um, what he's done is he um, invited a few 3GS users to send a donation to his email address along with the device that didn't fire of the 3GS. And well, a few minutes later, he sent me a custom build of PSX for iPhone. And along with the provisioning files, so that you're able to, um, for, for iTunes, for it to be able to sync it only to this iPhone and to be able to run the emulator. Um, I don't know if Zod already um, run, ran, ran out of slots for PSX for iPhone, but if he still has slots available, I'll go ahead and check for you guys. There'll be a link right over there in the description to visit the exact thread on his forums to see how you can get access to PSX for iPhone. The only requirement for this is that you ha you must have an iPhone 3GS. Um, he, um, from what I heard, he said that on the 3G it's really slow for it to even run, so he's only asking 3GS users to, um, you know, to have access to this emulator. Because if someone with a 3G gets it, okay, fine, you will be able to run it, but the emulator probably won't run up to your standards, and you know, he Zod doesn't want anyone to get you know pissed off or anything. But um, to cut straight to the application, that's PSX for iPhone. It's the PlayStation logo right there, in case you can see it. But um, just tapping on that icon um, reveals the emulator. And, you know, it launches pretty fast. Of course, we have a 3GS here. Um, another requirement, of course, you have to send a donation with your UDID to his email address. That's if he has slots left in his developer account for him to provision the emulator to you. And... Uh, to your iPhone 3GS and also you also need to download the scph1001.bin file and you know just by googling it within a few seconds you're gonna have access to that file um, I might put a link in the description for if you wanna have access to that file so that once you get the emulator running and you know I'll also have a link for a program called disk aid for the Mac um, where you can plug in your iPhone and disk aid will allow you to drag and drop the bin file that you need so that the PlayStation emulator can run and all of your games so that you can play them on the iPhone 3GS. There's only one game I have in here, which is Driver, because, you know, um, that's probably one of my best games that I've ever liked to play. I didn't like Driver 2 or Driver 3 because they were just complete destruction, but the first one I really like, so I'm just going to tap it, and you're going to pre present it with four options. Um, for this current build, only two options are working, which is Portrait and No Sound and Landscape and No Sound. There's no sound support on this build yet. Zod is working on it right now because um, if I play with sound, it's just going to crash the game and it won't let me run it. But if I run it with no sound, I'll choose portrait and no sound. Um, you'll see the the controls for you and you'll see the the title of the game and the copyrights or anything start to play out. And up here I have the frame rate counter on so that you can see how many frames per second the game is running on. Now, I am using the driver game because I do legally own this game physically. I have a collection of PlayStation 1 games that I have in my other room. So, um, you know, having this game on here and my other games, I'm legally entitled to emulate them because, you know, I own a physical copy. So, there's checking the memory cards. Of course, that's pretty quick. And it's going to start um, showing the intro, which I want to skip in order to cut to the video. But, um, wow. I don't know which one's which. It, is, it does take a while for it to load sometimes, but um, uh, it actually seemed pretty fast. So there's a the menu. I'm going to take a ride. One of my probably favorite features of this game. Um, I don't remember having any save games that I could transfer to my computer so I can run them here. Because I know I've probably passed this game numerous times. But there we go. The load time on that one was pretty quick. Probably less than five seconds to me. And there's the emulation. Um, now that we're running on 3D, the frame rate dropped dramatically it went from 30 to 40 frame rate on the title and now we're running in 3d and it's only running in between 23 and 26 frames per second on average so I'm just trying to drive my um, car here and so you can see how the emulation works I'm not gonna be able to turn because I can't see what I'm doing but um 
If I crash, don't laugh at me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I just hit pull. But you can see how it works. I don't have any sound on here. You can't hear anything. Like I said, there's no sound emulation. But so, that's pretty much it. Just a really quick demonstration of PSX for iPhone. You know, if there are, there's still are slots available, go ahead and put links in the description, in the description so that you can get your hands on and that emulator. Um, one thing I do suggest probably in the near future is that you know, iPhone OS 3.0, the new uh, APIs allows developers to utilize a dock connector for external keyboards, game pads, etc. So if developers, you know, if Zod pretty is able to uh, make these emulators run on jailbroken iPhones, there might just be some company out there that will release a game pad for the iPhone. I can just plug it in and, you know, have that near close to PlayStation experience. Because once you have the game controller, you're right in. So... That's my quick demonstration of PSX for iPhone. I'll have links over there how you can get it if it's still available, of course. And once again, thanks for watching. Please go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe to this video and my channel. And there's a lot more content coming soon. Um, don't forget, I also have a new personal channel, youtube.com slash Garcia, where I just go up close to what I do in my personal life, you know, what I'm doing with friends and etc. So go ahead and subscribe to that as well. And um, once again, we'll see you. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave me a comment in this video, post video responses, um, send me an email on my Gmail, follow me on Twitter, and send me an at reply. You know, I'll just get back to you. I'm that kind of person that likes to help out people. So, once again, it's me, Alan Ander, signing off for YouTube, and once again, peace out.